And so that's how MGTOW, the MGTOW community is. We see the truth for what female nature is. And the female nature is that the part of the female nature that um, a lot of men don't want to cope with is a woman doesn't love you for you. That's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Um, she only likes you for what you can do for her. And um, the sad thing is we've got a lot of men out here who are depressed. A lot of men out here who are lonely, who are killing themselves, committing suicide. Because they know that they'll really never find true happiness in a woman. They will never find that wife that will be there with them, actually. <clears throat> there isn't, there's nothing that's uh, genuine. You know, um, I just want to let you brothers know that if you feel lonely and if you feel depressed, it's very important for you to, you know, seek therapy from the MGTOW community. Continue watching MGTOW videos because without MGTOW, you will fall into a deeper, a deeper place of a uh, deeper point of depression. Depression, to me, uh, community, continue watching MGTOW videos because without MGTOW, you will fall into a deeper, a deeper place of a uh, deeper point of depression. Depression, to me, is one of the darkest things you can ever experience. You know, um, I understand how it feels to go through uh, long periods in your life where you feel like you're the only one. I understand how it feels to go through long periods of your life where you feel like the people around you make you feel like you're crazy. They make you feel like you're seeing things. They try to make you seem delusional. The fact that the matter is, you see the truth. And you choose not to conform to lies. You choose not to conform to this false reality that we call the real world. So, I understand. And you don't, you don't break. You may bend, but you don't ever break. And that's what we as MGTOW men try to convey in our messages, in our videos, especially myself. You know, it's all about being resilient. It's all about being um, strong, man. Never giving up and just persevering through it. You know, um, just up. it's all about being um, strong, man. Never giving up and just persevering through it. You know, um... I'm just being honest in my videos and I just try to get my brothers to understand that it's hard out here. It is. It's hard out here being a male in this society. Um, especially when society is more t favored towards uh, the women. It's unfortunate. And just, again, man... How, how do you deal with this, this stage of depression? How do you deal with being alone? Um, sometimes, you, you know, you have to seek that socialization. And when you're seeking that socialization, like I said in my previous videos, you got to find what causes you, what makes you want to yearn for, you know, women or what causes you to yearn for social interaction. And you just got to find the root of it. You have to... If you do have social interaction, interact with your brothers. Interact with your MGTOW brothers. Uh, again, the thing is with MGTOW, you're going to be rejected a lot. When you have the MGTOW ideology, you will experience a lot of rejection. You may experience some acceptance. The thing is... Now look, y'all. I just ran across this video. Hold up. Now this video right here, this is the date. It says 2018, August. Now, rest in peace to the brother Renegade. I just, I just found out. I did not know. I knew something happened to him because he wasn't posting. I knew something happened to him. I didn't know that he uh, allegedly committed suicide or whatever, but. I mean, just hearing this video, he don't sound like 
he would be, you know, I mean, you heard it for yourself. He was talking about being strong and persevering and, you know, he even said it earlier when he's talked about people committing suicide because they, you know, they can't get a woman and stuff like that. And he was like, if you feel depressed, you know, come to the MGTOW, you know, basically for support. Now, I know it's 2018, so we 19, 20, 21, we three years later, of course, you can change we we know that but i'm not i'm just i'm just this just got me kind of curious though um i mean i i did watch you know i never seen this video before but i watched videos of the brother you know what i'm saying so um just by hearing this right here it just makes you wonder did he really do it was it self-inflicted or did somebody, did somebody do it? And are they, are they saying that he did it? You know what I mean? This might, maybe somebody else did it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like I said, three years later, he could have a change of heart. He could have a change of mind. In this particular video right here, this don't sound like a renegade that would be. Um, you just heard it out of his own mouth. That don't that didn't that didn't sound anything about suicide. You know what I'm saying? He was actually even encouraging people to come and holler at him. You know. Now things could have changed three years later. Who knows? Um, you know, if you do watch his newer videos, you know, I still haven't heard him say that though. Maybe y'all can find the video. And y'all bring that up. You know what I'm saying? If y'all go ahead and search and see. Maybe his new videos, you know, was he, you know, saying anything else about it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish watching this video, man. I just wanted to talk. Just say that, man. I'm going to pour out some liquor for him. You know what I mean? Um, also, I wanted to let you know that um, in all reality, whether if he did it to himself or somebody did it, and if he's set free from the body then therefore he's really not dead he's he's actually more alive you know see we got the game all fucked up really you know you know we we grieve when people die we 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 uh we celebrate when life is born but it's it's really the, supposed to be the other way around you know what i mean so you know, we're really supposed to cry when the baby's born. You know what I'm saying? And you're supposed to celebrate when somebody leave this motherfucker. Because <laughs> if you know, and one thing about Renegade, he knew that this Matrix is, is, is a trap for your mind, body, and soul. You know what I mean? We are, we are in this day of time, we are really, really living in a world where these people are literally trying to hack your system. They want you. They want to take over your motherfucking system. So, and, and this brother right here is very aware. He's very aware of that. You know, I wish I would have reached out to him. Um, we we had we had a couple combos, but it was always through just the messaging back from from my channel to his channel. But I never spoke with him on the phone. You know what I mean? So that's why it's always important, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta. You know, we we got to just take that time to reach out to people. I mean, don't wait till, you know, the last minute and now it's too late. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, you can still you can still holler at him in the spiritual realm, though. So, hey, you know what I mean? May not, you know, may not be able to talk to him in the physical, but you're real connected. You could go holler at him in a dream. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so with that being said, man, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Y'all keep your heads up, man.